we call it some kind of double opera or two operas in one because we technically really have those two teams that almost, well, they, they communicate through some sending telegrams and, and leaving some objects, but they technically never really meet, but at the same time they go to the same pole, to the same point and they all the time try to think where is the other one. So we have some kind of a, two operas going simultaneously. Over the period of 1911 to 1912, um, two teams were racing to get to the, to be the first people ever to reach the South Pole in Antarctica. There was a British team led by Captain Scott, and when Captain Scott left England, he didn't realise he was in a race. He thought he was just going to be a great explorer, doing another great British thing, being the first to the South Pole. You know how the Brits love that kind of stuff. Then, while on the journey, he discovered that a Norwegian had been secretly planning the same thing. The Norwegian had been planning it um, before Scott announced his, but then thought, oh my God, um, Scott's going, I have to make it, I have to leave now, I have to do it quickly, otherwise, I'm, you know, he will beat me there. So as Scott was on his way to Antarctica, this Norwegian Amundsen sent him a telegram that said in very simple language, I'm coming, this is a race. The story is the drama itself and it's great, but at the same time everything which is next to the story is for me so fascinating to be, to be set in music and on stage. Uh, because all this environment is so surreal, mm -hmm. but it's surreal by itself, it's not... It's some, somewhere where the reality meets something which what we don't actually believe that it could exist. So this is absolutely what is theatre in a certain way about. And uh, an opera needs, uh, in general, some kind of um, abstraction on, on one side and on the other side. It needs some kind of translation of the reality into some next world that we will see on stage. There is this big inspiration because we were so lucky to meet together and to have like conversation with both of them. And I heard them both several times live on stage, so, so you learn from the possibilities of those amazing voices. So you more like actually explore what, what is all possible to be in, in that, uh, to be written in music.